y'all are gonna have to forgive me for how I look. I just got off work and it was so busy today. I mean, so busy. Anyway, I have to make a grocery store run um, and I'm planning to buy enough foods to last us for the week. I have $60. Remember, I have a family of five. One has a lot of food allergies. Um, I'm gonna go into Aldi. I hear they have a really good gluten-free section. I usually don't shop in Aldi's too much because I'm not familiar with it, but um, this is going to have to include some breakfast meals, some snacks, some lunch, and dinner. $60 for five people for seven days. All right, and before we get into this video, I'm gonna do my little rap even though I am dog tired. <laughs> hey YouTube, what's up? Can we get a thumbs up? That's the like button. Please subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you will be notified every time the Mick Crazies uploads a video. I holla. I wanna show y'all a little trick that my grandma taught me and it is to tie the strap for the buggy around your purse strap so that if someone were to try to snatch your purse, they'd have to take the whole basket with them. because I can make Pretty big bag, and they look pretty good. I don't see any mold or what my mom used to call eyes. <laughs> so these are a $3.99. I don't know in comparison. Frito brand, but okay. So we have 49 cents for the Ch Dakota chili beans. 49 cents each for pork, pork and beans. This would be great for Talia. She can have some beanie weenies for lunch since she's allergic to everything else. $1.89 for this huge thing of oatmeal. Gotta get it. And I wanna try these two instant oatmeals. Uh, the girls can have those for breakfast as well. They're $2.49 a piece, so that's $5. For that. $1.45 for 16 slices of cheese and $2.79 uh, $2.79 for some I'm looking for the mild cheddar mild that's not too bad for a, a big bag like that came back to the condiments because I need ketchup I hope this ketchup is good but this is $1.35 so I am back from Aldi and um, just a little disclaimer, I remembered that I had a couple of things in there that I already wanted to cook for this week. Um, one being spaghetti, one being um, nachos and the other one being uh, fried fish. So um, I did end up getting a little more snack foods than dinner foods. but. I actually only went over my budget by um, $3, which isn't too bad. So once I get in this house, I will show you guys what I bought. 
So I went to Aldi and you know they don't have bags. So I asked Trinity to bring some bags out here because I thought I had some Walmart grocery bags in there, but she brought a trash bag. Anyway, I didn't want to have to pay for the bags, especially knowing that I probably had bags at home. Hey YouTube, what's up? Can I get a thumbs up? That's the like button. Please subscribe and make sure you get notified. You do that by hitting the notification bell, clicking all so that you will be notified each and every... I'm trying to block Talia because she doesn't like wearing shirts. Anyway, so that you will be notified each and every single time the McCrazies uploads a video. So, as you guys know from the video or the little clip before this, I went to Aldi yesterday after work. I was very tired. I had planned on coming in and putting the groceries out and doing a haul for y'all, but y'all couldn't. I was exhausted. I took my shower, I ate, I looked at a couple of YouTube channels, which at the end of this video, I'm gonna give some shout outs, so please, Stay tuned and watch the entire video. If you, I know sometimes the videos seem like they kind of drag along, but you know, there is a lot of good points in there, some funny moments. So if you watch more than three minutes of the video, I promise you'll be entertained. Anyhow, so I went to Aldi. My goal at first was to buy five days worth of, I said seven in the video, but I meant five, five days worth of meals, breakfast, lunch, snacks, and dinner for $60. However, once I got in there, I realized I already have a few things for dinner. They have things for lunch. They have breakfast. I really don't need to do that, so I just kind of went with some side items, snack stuff. Um, the gluten-free section was not as big as I had heard, so um, I would have done better at Walmart with that part. But I ended up spending with tax and not buying the bags uh, $63.41. So let's get into this haul so I can show you what I got. I don't think I did too bad. I honestly think Aldi, you know, has pretty good deals. And I'll put the uh, prices when I edit. But I got this. 7327 Go Texan Ground Beef. Um, it is a five pound. I bought some drumsticks. Two percent milk. Two packs of hot dog buns. Four packs of hot dogs. Uh, some chili with no beans and I have to tell you guys I told you before I'm not familiar with Aldi so I'm not too familiar with the brands I hear a lot about Aldi so I hope that the food is yummy I bought two cans of hash because that's what Talia will eat for breakfast either hash or grits she already ate one this morning um, pork and beans chili beans Bring y'all a little bit closer. I bought six, hold on. Yeah, six cans of the Vienna sausages. Two bags of the four cups of the 16 ounce uh, mild cheddar. 16 slices of American cheese. A variety pack of potato chips. I don't know how these taste in comparison to Frito-Lay brand, but I hope they're good. Vinegar. I like to soak my meat when I'm cleaning it in a salt and vinegar mixture to, you know, clean out toxins or whatever. Um, this is supposed to be like Miracle Whip. So I hope we like that. Y'all... It takes us forever to eat mayonnaise and Miracle Whip. I bought a Miracle Whip because, you know, anyway. And it ended up expiring before we opened it. Ketchup. Don't know much about this brand, but we will see. These, these kids love ketchup. 
They love condiments. Ketchup, barbecue sauce, things like that. Pepperoni, because they like to eat that for a snack. Apples. Sweet onion. Potatoes. Russet potatoes. Oatmeal. Can never go wrong with having a big thing of oatmeal in the house. Uh, bananas and water. So $63 for this. I mean, I'm just going to say it doesn't matter where you go. Let me come back in front of the camera. It doesn't matter where you shop. Honestly, I feel like groceries have gotten so much more expensive than they used to be in the past. I mean, before I could go grocery shopping for myself for a week, and that would be breakfast, lunch, and dinner for $20, you know? And so you would think for a family of five, maybe 80, but now, I mean, you're barely getting anything. I feel like this is very small. Um, and very inexpensive stuff but again it just it adds up so tell me it down below in the comments if you have ever shopped at aldi um what you prefer to buy at aldi what doesn't taste good what you know just let me know i'll be back okay so i have put the cold things um items back into the refrigerator and I wanted to come on here and give my shout out. Forgive me for putting my hand there, but my camera is falling. Talia! Talia, come here. <sighs> okay, so I first want to shout out um, my very first YouTube channel um, that I was watching is my cousin, Maisha Lena go and check her out she does diy she does hauls she will do cooking she will do um she has like a few hair she does uh cleaning um exercising uh, yeah she's just an uh, overall blog okay anyway go check her out uh, the kids really love her channel. They have never met Maisha, but they love her channel and they actually want to meet her in person. So I might just have to make a trip to go and visit with her. I don't know. She has kids of her own and she might be like, Lord. But anyhow, because my kids are crazy. Um, I also want to give a shout out to Triple C and Joe. They are so awesome. They're so genuinely sweet. Um, they really like I found them and since I found them they've been doing more of like promoting growth for uh, small youtubers and things like that um, but they also do praise and worship which I absolutely love um, anybody that is in their chat that's not a troll and trying to get stuff started um, is welcome to come up onto their live video with them and sing or tell a testimony or, you know, tell a story or whatever the case may be. But I absolutely love Joe and Dana. They are so sweet. Um, the McCrazies want to be crazy right now. They can't be calm for too long. They want to, you know, start acting out and stuff. Especially that Talia. So anyhow, um, Lady C. Russell, she is a pastor and she does uh, morning inspiration. She does a uh, positive, um, what do you call it? Like she's, she speaks positive uh, things. Anyway, I love her channel as well. I try my best to wake up early enough. She comes on at nine. Sometimes I don't wake, like I just cannot open my eyes until like 920, which is going to be it's gonna it's gonna be difficult starting tomorrow because school starts and um yeah 
going to have to get up much earlier than that and going to have to learn how to go to bed much earlier than I go to bed. I'll be trying to hang out with them, you know, doing their uh, promotions and things like that. Anyhow, I highly recommend those three channels. Also, there is uh, the Sleek Slick Nico Twins. Um, that is S-L-I-C space <laughs> N-I-C-O Twins. Um, it is Boy and Girl Twins. I love their channel as well. When I first came onto their channel, they also were just doing the small YouTuber uh, promotions. But as I have gone through and watched their vlogging videos, they have so much fun. I'm like, man, I need to come kick it with y'all. And I mean, like, positive stuff. They're not going to the club. They're not, you know, doing nothing crazy, anything like that. But, like, their uh, latest video, they went um, whitewater rafting. And it was, it wasn't like out in the wild, you know, it was um, at like a water park or something like that, but they do like the real thing. And that video was so entertaining. I loved it. They do a really good job with their editing and, you know, I love their channel. I love to, uh, to meet people like that. Um, and then there is the Chit Chat Queen which she does, um, you know, she just has chit chats. Like she'll, she talks about different things that maybe some of you have a hard time discussing or, you know, are interested in talking about and things like that. So go and check her out. Um, Tiana, I can only be me. She was my second YouTube channel that I started watching. Um, I haven't seen much from her lately. She says she had a lot of business endeavors going on. So you go, girl. I am so proud of you. Keep up the good work. Keep pushing. Make your money, girl. Make your money. And you know, there's like those really big YouTubers out there. I watch their videos sometimes. But I, as much as I love them, um, the comedy ones, I just feel so... Uh, like a, a closer relationship with the ones that I've been watching that I just named off because you know they're they're not small as in like you know just started they have more subscribers than we do and all of that type of stuff they've been monetized and everything but they're uh, down to earth you know they, they talk to us they um, anyway so go and check them out and if you have not hit subscribe to this channel, please hit subscribe. We have so much in store for you, so much that we're trying to do, so much that we would like to do, um, especially when, I have to keep blocking Talia out, especially when we are able to get out and do things. Talia has a compromised immune system, so I don't want to take any chances. I know they've opened up different places, but... I have to be careful because her immune system, she pretty much does not have an immune system. Um, she has an adrenal deficiency. And what that means is something as simple as a stomach bug, a cold. Um, we have to pump her up with steroids and take her to the emergency room. So don't want to do that. No, no, no. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go so I don't make this video too long. Sometimes I can talk too much because I am mick crazy. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.